This is Two Minutes with Around the Rings. I'm Ed Hula. The World Anti-Doping Agency reinstates the Russian Anti-Doping Agency, a move that's being blasted by one critic as, quote, the greatest treachery against clean athletes in Olympic history. The 9-2 decision by the WADA Executive Committee came in the middle of the Indian Ocean, the Seychelles, but despite the remote venue, it's a move that will ripple worldwide. With the Russian Anti-Doping Agency back in business, the way is cleared for Russian athletes to return to competitions, such as the Olympics, without the last-minute drama of Rio and Pyeongchang. Critics say the reinstatement overlooks two key demands of WADA, accepting the findings of the McLaren report into the Russian anti-doping fraud and access to the data collected by the still decertified Moscow Doping Lab. Reinstatement is conditional on access to those results. One of the two no votes came from Linda Helleland, the WADA vice president from Norway, who's one of the candidates up for election next year as new WADA chair. The 2026 Winter Olympic bid picture no longer includes Sapporo, Japan, which dropped out this week. Italy has decided to bid for 2026 with Milan and Cortina di Ampezzo. 2006 host Turin says it won't join the bid. Ex-IAAF President Lamine Diak faces a second round of charges from the French tribunal investigating his dealings at the Federation. Diak, now accused of funneling sponsorship deals to the marketing company of his son, Papa Masata Diak. It's the final weekend for the World Equestrian Games in Tryon, North Carolina. Tested by weather, the Games had some glitches but are headed to a smooth finish. In Baku, Azerbaijan, more than 800 judoka compete in the IJF Judo World Championships. The competition concludes September 27th. Allianz is the newest worldwide sponsor of the Olympics, number 14. The German financial services firm is the world's third biggest and loves to use sport to promote the business. Currently, eight stadiums around the world carry the Allianz name. That's Two Minutes with Around the Rings. I'm Ed Hula. For 25 years, your number one source of news about the Olympics, AroundTheRings.com.